I'm going to show the self-defense technique obscure claws. Now there's uh, different variations of this technique, so I will show uh, at least three. And I'll show you at the end of which I feel is my preference and why, okay? So the first thing to establish is it's claws plural. Obscure claws and obscure claw. So it's normally taught where you use both of your claws. Um, he might, he may be pulling me back, but I feel the grab. He's a little bit up a little bit to the flank as opposed to a rear grab. And uh, I'm gonna bend my elbow, don't overextend. <laughs> use my two claws to the face. This circles around his arm. Don't go into a twist stance. Go right to a neutral ball, be careful. I'm gonna snap the arm, back knuckle, hit him in the back of the head, heel palm, now watch the middle knuckle. It hits right to the sternum or solar plexus. And that's obscure claw. So we'll do that one more time. So a person grabs, I feel him. By the way, if I extend my arm, just punch. That's no good. So I want to make sure my elbow is check, uh, checks that arm. He pulls back. I do the claws. I continue to hook around his arm. And I snap it. This is a minor move. Back knuckle. Hit him in the back of the head. This guy that pulls him in. Heel palm. And my middle knuckle connects horizontally outward. Okay? Uh, I want to say that that is a category completion to gathering clouds. So gathering clouds or leaping crane, I go inward with the middle knuckle. Now I'm going outward. Okay? I'll get to that in a second. Now, the, the other way this is, I like to teach this is done with one arm. So it comes obscure claw, although these could all be claws. Okay, so he pulls back and I claw. As I hook, I do go into a twist stance, but I'll show you why. I bring him to the other claw. So I break his arm as I heel palm, then hit him in the back of the head, then palm, and then my middle knuckle connects. Okay, so I'll try that again. Obscure claw. Oh, he grabs that bend of the elbow, my claw. Watch how the other claw works together. So this heel palm does this. One goes one way, one goes the other way. Back of the head, heel palm, hit him with the middle knuckle, okay? Now, version three, okay? The problem with those versions, even though you may have liked them, if you work with um, advanced black belts like Matt, um, and he doesn't cooperate. So let's say I do the two claws and he pulls back and he lets go. Okay. I might have clawed his face, I might not have, but why would he care about holding onto my shoulder or my coat or my sweater if I have my fingers in his eyes? In my opinion, this no longer matters. If I take dirt or sand and throw it in his eyes, he could care less about this. The only thing that matters for that moment is protecting his eyes. Okay, but what we do in Kempo is the person who cooperates, they hold tight, they hold tight. You may have even said as a black belt, keep holding on, keep holding on, keep holding on. Thank you. Now my technique works. So one way that you can offset that issue is to pin a hand that grabs, like we're taught in Delayed Sword and all the other moves. So he pulls me back, see my claw, and then I hook, and then I break, then I strike, then I hit, see, and then I hit him with the back knuckle. So the tight pin to his hand, now I'm grabbing him in tight. And another thing, guys, when you pin, don't pin like this. Pull out, Matt. You've got to pin it tight. So don't worry about the plural claws. I do obscure claw. He pulls. Gee, I claw. I circle. I hit. I strike. Now, here's what I'm going to say. I get this for the camera. It's taught as a middle knuckle. And I know a lot of people go, oh, I love that shot. That is the outward of the inward, like I said, of gathering clouds. But if I did this to Matt, I'll turn for the camera, and did this, a hand sword to the throat, or a hammer fist to the jaw, makes more sense than a middle knuckle. In Canada, we wear layers of clothing in the winter with lots of coats. This isn't the best shot to the sternum or solar plexus. And even if you live in an area with warm climate, this is more advantageous, or this is more advantageous than a middle knuckle. So watch how I change it. He grabs, gee, I claw, I circle, pop, I pop his arm. Now, I'm being gentle. Really, if I do it, I'm stepping forward more. But I back knuckle, I strike, and watch this throat shot. Gee! Maybe on the way out, I'll sweep his leg, and I'm out of there. And that is obscure. 
clause 